Hi, Bob Paskins here, sales consultant and creator of The Growth Matrix, where we elevate salespeople and sales processes to achieve desired growth. In this Sales Tip Tuesday, we are going to discuss how to manage your calendar when it comes to the sales cycle. This can be found in the achievement component of The Growth Matrix. I was working with Dale. Dale was a very good salesperson. He knew how to identify potential customers, pinpoint their needs, and then win the business by showing how his solutions would best benefit the client. Dale did have one problem. He would win accounts every three months. But unfortunately, in the two months in between, Dale would have a gap in his sales performance. I asked Dale about this. Dale mentioned that the sales cycle was about 90 days from first consultation to final presentation. From there, I asked Dale about his current opportunities. Dale mentioned that he had three new opportunities he was excited about. All three would be closing in roughly 40 days, and he was focused on those dates. However, outside of those closing dates, Dale had nothing else in his sales pipeline. That meant he would need to start over again, creating another 90-day gap between sales. I asked if Dale came to work in the morning if he could look at two dates each day. The first would be the present day. Dale needed to make sure that his daily tasks were completed and that he was continuing to push his current opportunities through the sales pipeline. The second day was equally important. The second day was 90 days out from the present day. With a 90-day sales cycle, Dale needed to identify the prospective clients that he would look to be making a decision 90 days from today and reach out to them. For those opportunities, it would be their day one of Dale's 90-day sales cycle. Dale took me up on that. Funny enough, the first thing he did was to buy two daily calendars and put them on his desk. One showed the present day, and the other was set 90 days into the future. After making sure the daily tasks were completed, Dale would look through his contact lists, identify potential customers who would need to make their final decision from 90 days from this present day. Dale's sales shifted dramatically. Now he was closing three times the amount of business that he had in the past. Additionally, now there were no more gaping holes in Dale's sales cycle. He had a constant flow of business. So here's a sales tip. Make sure you identify both what needs to be done on the present day, as well as the potential opportunities that you would need to begin the sales cycle. You may not need to buy two calendars like Dale did, but you need to be aware of those two dates, the actual date, and the sale closing cycle date. If you or your company would like more information on my sales consulting services or would like a free 30 minute consultation, feel free to reach out to me through my website at bobpaskins.com. Thanks for watching.